Today I'm going to read you Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this and that. This way and that. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can, can I help you, said Mr. Seahorse. Oh, yes, thank you. And she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. Those are fish. He missed them. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I just built a nest, and right away Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs into it. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. Keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse, and he swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by... What's in there? I don't know. He passed right by a lionfish behind a coral reef. <clears throat> but before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia laid her eggs. Now you are taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. You must be very happy, and Mr. Seahorse swam on his way. See how the eggs are in his mouth? He's sort of making sure they're okay. No other fish eats them up. As Mr. Seahorse gented, uh, drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by... Uh-oh, what's he passing by over here? Still looks like seaweed. A pair of leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. Wow, that's very good camouflage. Good camouflage. But before long, Mrs. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis laid her eggs and I had them stuck on my head. Stuck on my head? Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You're doing a great job, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. And Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, passed right by, hmm, I don't know, that looks like a rock. He passed right by a stonefish hidden behind a rock. But before long, Mr. Stone Seahorse uh, met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? Asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, called Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe laid her eggs along my belly. See how they're all along his belly? Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? Asked uh, Mr. Seahorse. Tip top, replied Mr. Bullhead. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs and the eggs hatched. Now I'm babysitting. You're doing a fine job, said Mr. Seahorse, and he swam on his way. See how all the little babies are all hatched out and swimming around the daddy? I think that's a catfish. The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born, and so Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. At last, the babies tumbled from Mr. Seahorse's pouch, and they swam away. One baby turned back, and he tried to come back into the pouch. Oh, no, cried uh, Mr. Seahorse. I do love you, but now you are ready to be on your own. So all the little baby seahorses are going off for their own adventure. And at the end, the author says, Dear friends, in most fish families, after the mother has laid the eggs, they're left on their own. But there are a few exceptions, such as the seahorse, stickleback, tilapia, the curtis, the nursery fish, the pipefish, the bullhead catfish, and some others. 
Not only are the eggs cared for by a parent, but surprise, that parent is the father. So this story is about Mr. Seahorse and the other father fish who take care of their eggs. Hope you enjoyed the story. Bye-bye.